Hello dear students our today's topic is a very important compound parmaquine this compound belongs to the therapeutic category of anti malarial drugs the chemical class to which it belong is 8 amino quinolines as per the therapeutic category this drug is used in treatment of various forms of malaria let's go for synthesis of this compound which is very important as per the examination concerned the synthesis of parmaquine start with this starting material which is a any lean derivative and it is called as 4 methoxy to nitro aniline the benzene attached with nh2 is aniline on to the second position we have a nitro group and on fourth position we have methoxy so it is called as 4 methoxy to nitro aniline now this compound reacts with glycerol that is ch2oh chooh ch2oh the reaction takes place in presence of sulfuric acid so when sulfuric acid reacted with glycerol it brings about the removal of two water molecules from glycerol to give us a very important compound which is called as acrolein Acrolein is a classical example of alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. So this aniline derivative undergoes nucleophilic addition to this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. The addition takes place in such a way that one of the hydrogen will go on to this alpha carbon while rest of the nucleus will add on to the beta carbon so by the nucleophilic addition we will get formation of this very important intermediate this compound then undergoes a very famous ketoenol tautomerism to give us a very important isomer of this compound this one in this structure you can easily find that the hydrogen on this alpha carbon will move on to this electronegative oxygen and there is generation of a double bond between this carbon and this carbon so we will get a ene and the o is gets converted to oh so it converted to all that means this keto or aldehyde structure is gets converted to its ene all form this in all derivative then is reacted with 
sulfuric acid and secondly it undergoes a very important reaction oxidation reaction when acid is given or when acid is treated with this derivative one of the proton given by H2SO4 move on to the OH to make it a water molecule which is liberated out from here so from here we have the release of water molecule this carbon then being an electrophile attack on the benzene ring for the sake of electrons so we get a cyclized product here likewise when oxidation takes place with suitable oxidizing agent there is loss of these two protons this hydrogen and this hydrogen so by oxidation we have loss of two protons so this ultimately leads to give us the cyclized product with a full aromatic character So this compound is called as 6-methoxy-8-nitroquinoline. As soon as this cyclization takes place, this will become a quinoline nucleus. And for quinoline, the numbering starts with this nitrogen. So this will be number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and this will be number 8. So we will get the formation of 6-methoxy-8-nitroquinoline derivative over here. Now this compound then undergoes another reaction which is a very important and a very familiar one. This compound undergoes a process called as reduction that is attachment of the hydrogen whereby this nitro group is gets converted into corresponding amino group. So here we have the formation of this one which is called as 8 amino 6 methoxyquinoline as soon as this derivative is formed this compound then reacted with this amine which is called as 4-bromo n, n diethyl pentenamine this amino group then attack on this carbon to bring about the nucleophilic substitution reaction by release of a HBr molecule hydrogen and this Br will be liberated out as HBr and this gives us the formation of our titled compound which is called as Parmaquin. So dear students, that is all about the synthesis of this very important anti-malaria drug, Parmaquin. Thanks for watching the video. Please like it, share it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.